Okay, this one's for Rob. I will explain the tape attachment. First of all, I'll move it out and swing it around. Okay, now this, uh, the video that I did for this was never intended to be uh, how to make it. It was just to give you uh, some insight into different, you know, a, a different configuration to use. So, I'm going to show just how it works. Alright, first of all the components. You have uh, the bracket that bolts to the bed. Uh, I made this so that it can be in one of two different positions. Uh, that's because that was what was on the lathe already. Your lathe could be different. So you have to make it according to that. Uh, the next part of it are these two uh, posts. And then uh, the posts hold this, uh, I call it a draw bar. I'm not quite sure what the terminology is. Anyways, that uh, holds this bushing here. It's a uh, three-quarter inch bushing that I put on here. You could use uh, probably a one inch. I wouldn't go any smaller than uh, three-quarters of an inch though because you want it to be as stout as possible. Um, and then these, uh, these arms, I call them, that come out, uh, they're three-quarter inch uh, steel. This one's three inches wide, this one's three and a half, it comes out about three and a half, and this comes out about, uh, I'm going to say, six inches. Okay, let's try that again. This is a taper attachment. Specifically, this one is on a 10 inch standard modern Utili. It could be used on any number of lathes. Uh, just has to be modified to the particular lathe in question. I mounted it to the existing holes that were on the bed. I believe it is for a taper attachment. Anyways, this is my version of it. Uh, this is a two inch angle. It's a quarter inch thick. Quarter inch is fine. You could go thicker, but I wouldn't go any thinner. These are the arms that come out from it. They're uh, three and a half and three inch wide uh, cold rolled plate steel. Uh, they come out in this case around three and a half inches. This end here is probably around seven. Uh, I have pillars, we'll call them, or support columns that uh, sit on these and they are about an inch and a half in diameter. I have a three-quarter inch, uh, we'll call it a draw bar that uh, spans between the two centers. Uh, it's a three-quarter inch uh, drill rod. You could use one inch. I certainly wouldn't go any, any thinner or any smaller in diameter than three-quarters of an inch. Um, on the draw bar, I have the bushing. It's uh, just a, a bronze bushing that I pressed into a block of aluminum and that is what gets attached to this part right here. Now this part is um, we'll call it a drag link and it's made of two pieces. It's a 7 8 uh, steel bar cold rolled and this uh, again I think it started as 3 inch um, cold rolled uh, steel and what I did is I welded it onto here uh, and it, you know I made it to match my uh, cross slide. You would have to change it to, for your cross slide. Anyways, uh, everything is based around the standard modern that I have. Um, all these are uh, 7 8 uh, because 7 8 is what I use uh, it's what I use for the tailstock. So I made uh, 
you know, this is trivial, but I made a oh, seven eighths uh, nut to release the uh, screw on the cross slide. So that comes out. Bring this in closer. This will come up obviously. This comes off. This goes in here. So long since I used it, I forget. Because like this right here. Now we're talking. Okay, and now what you do is you set your angle to whatever you want. You lock it down again with the 7 8 wrench. You can use whatever size you want. I pick 7 8 because 7 8 is what I use to lock down the tailstock. So it goes like that, it goes like that, and you got your taper all set up. And now you're good to go. Just that simple, Wally. Um, I would add that in addition, I have a, uh, a fridge magnet that I use to cover the hole here to keep the swerf out, but that's trivial. You can use whatever you want, a piece of tape, but a fridge magnet works great. Anyways, uh, it took me about, I would say, probably eight hours to make, off and on. I did it over two days, probably about four hours each day. Um, I did a mock-up, and I said, strongly suggest that you do a mock-up first. I used, uh, actually I used some old flooring, uh, laminate flooring. It's, <clears throat> it's just bright, it, manuf it machines well, and uh, it's pretty close to the thicknesses that you need here. So. I did a mock-up first, uh, everything seemed to work out all right, and I proceeded from there. Um, again, for your lathe it'll be different. I chose to mount it to the, the lathe bed um, and not onto the, the side here because I have a, uh, well I'll show you, I have a four man's DRO that I like to attach here, so I wanted that freed up. So that's the reasoning for that. You can choose to use this design or, you know, use it as a starting point for your own.